What is happening guys? My name is Mike. I want to welcome you back to my channel, Modern Man TV. Today, I have a brand new product review for you. It is from a brand that has been highly requested in the past. I'm really excited to get a small look at a couple of their products and give you guys my thoughts. I first briefly featured Baxter of California here on the channel during my clay catalog. And after that, I was contacted by them and offered the chance to take a look at a few of their other products. And since they have been so highly requested by some of you subscribers, and I hadn't ever really taken a look at anything other than their clay, I was happy to agree and take a look. Today we are going to be looking at three items from the Baxter line. The Super Close Shave Formula, the Grooming Cream for the Hair, and the Hard Cream Pomade. Before I can demo these products for you and give you my final verdict, we gotta take a closer look. Let's get started. The Baxter of California Hard Cream Pomade is a firm hold natural finish, lightweight styling product that received a Reader's Choice Award in 2014 for the best hair paste. It is designed for medium to thick hairstyles and for a multitude of different style options. It comes in a two ounce jar and retails for $22 US. Let's switch over to the grooming cream. This is a light hold and natural finish grooming cream that is designed to be used by itself or as a pre-styler. It's made with natural ingredients like meadow foam, grapeseed oil, and others to provide moisture and tame frizz to the hair. This cream comes in a 3.4 ounce tube and retails for $20 US. Now on to the demos. We're going to be starting with the grooming cream. I have tested this cream out and found the best way for it to be used in my hair is as a pre-styler. So in usual pre-styler fashion, I'm going to throw some in my damp hair and then blow dry until all the moisture is gone. It goes in very easily and is even easier to distribute all over the hair. As you're spreading it around your head, you can get a good feel to the moisturizing abilities of this cream as it even leaves your hands feeling soft. What we're left with after blow drying is a nice foundation with a light hold and good basic shape. This is a perfect opportunity to move on to the hard cream pomade. This product scoops out creamy, but a tad thick too with almost no visible grip. With a little pressure, it breaks down clear and goes completely creamy, making application easy. I'm just gonna spread this throughout my hair and utilize how lightweight it is to finish off my style and complement the volume I achieved with the grooming cream. Our final product today is the Super Close Shave Formula. This is an easy glide, no clog shave cream that both hydrates the skin and allows for your blade to move smoothly along the skin to prevent nicks and cuts. This shave cream comes in a four ounce tube and retails for $16 US. It goes on like a nice lotion, but it doesn't get absorbed into the skin so that it can function as designed with your razor. Using this shave formula is actually pretty easy and makes a quick shave even quicker. All right, now that we've gone through these products fully, I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts. Let's start with the Super Close Shave Formula. I actually have no complaints about this shave cream. I thought it was really nice to use and I actually tested it out with both my Gillette razor that I featured in this video and a safety razor and had the same experience. It glided over my skin really easily, no nicks or cuts, and it actually made it a lot easier for me to clean up my neckline here because it's not so thick that I can't see where I'm trimming and it made it easier to get a nice clean line across. Moving on to the grooming cream, it was a nice little pre-styler for me to use. I actually didn't find that it gave me much of anything in dry hair, which is why I chose to use it as a pre-styler for this video. And it was a pretty good pre-styler, but I do feel like that there are other pre-stylers that I have or have used that work a tad bit better. That doesn't mean it's a bad product by any means. I actually think that it would have worked a little better if my hair was shorter or if some of you that have shorter hair and are going for kind of a quiff or something you know with volume up front, I think this would be a good choice for you. Lastly, we have the hard cream pomade. I got a little confused at first when I was testing this product out because it said pomade in the title and I had to do a little research and then change the way I looked at it because it's not actually a pomade, it's a hair cream or paste. In that sense, I found that it had a pretty nice hold and easy application. My only complaints about this product though is one, it's a little dry. And I found that when I went to go reshape or try to restyle or even just run my fingers through my hair later, it led to some difficulty. 
Also, during the initial styling, there was some white residue left in my hair that took a little extra effort to break down, which was a little bit of a barrier to styling with this product. If you want to check out Backstrip California, I will leave a link to their website in the description down below. While you're there, don't forget to drop me a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought of the products featured today. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media accounts for additional content. I want to thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out this video. Take it easy. I'll catch you guys next time.